Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Ben, good to see you. Yeah. What do I do for it? Oh, I manage, manage AFC Thames. Yeah, 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 big time. Yeah, yeah. What's the form like? I'll just go to the next table. Cheers. Hi, Ben. How you doing? <laughs> what, sorry? Are the strikers... Don't worry about them. I'll go to the next table, shall I? Hi there, Ben. <laughs> Transfer budget. I mean, not even a hello. I'll run the intro. What's the intro? Don't forget it then. folks welcome back to a lightless afc thames we'll go purple or green let's go green for winning that's that's the color of win now good to see you welcome back since we last met um second season syndrome has kicked in we have got some um some issues but so far this season we are quite a few games in 13 games in just the two wins then just the count them there one two so not not great what is that by the way uh not great for me look I don't really know. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know why. And since we last met, it's not gone any better. Well, since then, really, I, I, disappointment has been common. I, I, that's how I put it. Um, yeah, defeat to Newcastle in the cup, not ideal. And then Arsenal, Liverpool, and City most recently, a seven-one defeat to Liverpool. Um, I'd rather not talk about it, to be honest. Uh, decent draws, really, against Arsenal and against City. I know what you're thinking. Oh, 3-3 three, three against Arsenal, man. That's that's really impressive. It's not really impressive. It's infuriating. We were 3-0 up after 26 minutes and binned it off all in the first half and got sending off and somehow clung on in the second despite going down to 10 men. So, um, yeah, lucky is the way I would describe it. And again, I guess we'll take the point. Like, it could, it could be worse. It could be Norwich, who so far have played 13 games and not won a game. Seven draws. But the problem is they're only three points behind me. The goal difference of minus nine equally not particularly good and today then we have two big games coming up for you the first of which is against aston villa they are bottom of the league table so that gives me a little bit of hope especially after a decent performance against manchester city and after that it's been a little while they're a top four contender this season it's thames fc so i uh, return to playing them once again we won't play them every single time because that would get boring but we will play them today uh, aston villa they're up first again that away game against the bottom of the league it should be a routine win then said nobody ever now the problem we've got is an injury agnanovic has got a knock so he cannot play uh in terms of replacements on that side dominic dolls is probably the most logical of the options for us i've been playing around a little bit with the roles again advanced playmaker now for salatili uh just making it up um again coming away from sort of the attacking 4-3-3 we're going, going more so now for the defensive trying to be a little bit more solid we've had a few injuries plus us has just come back for today's game so i won't start him off the off the, off the uh i'll start him on the bench is what i'm getting i won't start him uh, straight back into the side osmanovic and rosso i think is probably the partnership it's difficult because he prefers to be a left back but i think his defensive attributes other than heading are actually far better so we're going to stick him in there I do feel like we're one real like world-class center back away from being really good um and when i say really good i mean a top half side i feel like that's probably the area where we are weakest um and someone i've got to point out as who is having the worst season of anyone in this side lewis knee uh i think i need a new goalkeeper and i need one relatively quickly we are 13 games in he's conceded 32 goals and there's not a clean sheet and i've got to be honest i think half of the goals could have been saved so we need a new goalkeeper i think it's what we're going to go for in the january period i don't know why he's playing as badly as he is i don't think he's good like got a lack of protection just his handling has been really really poor uh team wise then before i go straight into it near in goal uh pizarro osmanovic rosso and magal at left back we've got bong juan jose steven uh salatiel uh, on the left hand side with um again i could say his name jacob on the right hand side we'll stick with jacob uh dolls and um, and Trout up front let's see then can the boys do the business i guess i could play venturi on the left hand side but whatever we'll go with dolls and last season you might remember dolls second half of the year was phenomenal so if you can have any type of form like that today that would be appreciated uh, you can see the uh, the aston villa side there then i mean familiar names no we don't know who any of them are but we're, we're invested in the afc thames journey now it doesn't matter who we're playing against the important thing is it's aston villa whose form is not as bad as ours but still pretty bad seven months to liverpool not a not a great day for me <laughs> not a great time it's especially sad when you're sort of just playing it and they kick off and they score 
and they kick off and they score and they kick off and they score and it's just quite sad watching that over and over again all right early stages here more possession but not as many chances and against some of the weaker sides despite playing the, the more defensive system with the deep line well, i said deep line playmaker the ball being midfielder i do tend to play a little bit more attacking and it has worked out well for me that said viewers oh his knee makes a save i can hardly believe it yeah some of his mistakes have been if they're in videos i'd have i think i'd have just i'd have stopped everything i'd have turned off all the cameras everything would have just ended as knee there that's two saves in in the space of a second as he launches the ball forward immediately to nobody um you can see just how, how big a point could be for us and a win even more so 25 minutes gone here then away from home and you know we're going to play it short dolls is giving it the double arms viewers which you know what that means as he gets it back in loads of space here is dolls oh my goodness me dominic dolls i've got i think i should just start him for the rest of the season he is a game changer in this team it feels like whether i could play him in behind the striker more i don't know whether i just play him as the striker i don't know he's got that left foot of his is an absolute one he takes the corner he gets the ball back plays a really nice one too with steven and then uh, the ball into the top corner i'm just calling him steven i know he's changed it to, to, to juan jose no we're not doing it we are fming the life out of them and the xg for that shot by the way 0.03 not particularly high as aston villa go close i'm going to come off a attacking now back to balance we've got the goal we do need to find our way into this game a little bit more as maggle at left back has picked up a little bit of an injury as well hopefully it doesn't affect the game too much as again if we can win this game having been on a run of form that's been really poor it'll be our third win of the season and boy do we need it so far so good i'm pleased with how things are going i've just had a meeting with them as well pre-game uh, to try and big them up i've just encouraged them to play a slightly better it's been really disappointing again the, the, the draws against arsenal and city are fine like arsenal themselves not having a great season and against city it's a really good point as dolls is there again it's cleared away is he going to shoot from there or is he going to be tackled and they're going to break that's that's the big fear here viewers um but no okay we've got to go on a run of wins really and of course in the premier league this is all the problem for the lesser sides and i'm sure this that this happens to teams in real life all the time is that you're constantly playing someone good so you like to go on a run is incredibly difficult it's why it's what made leicester's uh, season so good is williams being sent off here because it seemed a little reckless a little high and with 55 minutes gone if he is to be sent off it's a weird place to get a red card like i don't see red cards given in that position very often and he's gone and it's forced villa into a change straight away not only that we had a free kick that we weren't going to see but the 10 men of villa now are gonna have to try and fight back now there's a theory going around football manager circles that 10 men on fm is better than an 11 so hopefully that's not true today emma trout's having a pretty poor game um, but again, making a change here, I do get a little nervous to do so. We could bring McGregor on, or we could bring Wooten out wide. In fact, Venturi's going to come on, Ermin Trout's going to come off, and we're going to move Jakob up forward uh, to the striking position. 15 minutes to go. Again, I'm, we've got to try and get every point we can, really. We're going to waste time is uh, as and when is possible for us really and again whether to go cautiously here i don't know we're stealing one a little bit the, the, the magical brilliance of dominic doles might just give us the win as i'm noting that city are beating thames 3-0 over on the other side of it the blues are battling as there's going to be a highlight i don't want this to be a counter attack i'll take a second goal though as villa with 10 men really haven't found a way back into this one the ball is cleared away but only to maggle who despite the injury has done really well to stay out there it didn't seem like a major injury, so we've kept him on the pitch for now as the ball is going from right to left as Pizarro's got to make the smartest move here. And it's a 2v2 at the back. Oh, my God, it's bad. He's raced through the middle. That's all about knee. Well, we needed, needed him there, and he came up clutch. It's a 1-0 win. It's not at all like good. I mean, the, the possession's good, and Dominic Dolls' goal was great, but the rest of that, the performance... I mean, defensively, I guess you could say we've done okay. It's a clean sheet! My God! It's the first clean sheet of the season. Oh, what a moment. Well, I'll take it all back, viewers. What This is a huge day for, T for Thames here. As, uh, yeah, as I say, we get the clean sheet. Well, you can see just what it does for us as well. 13 points, 15th. Now, as, as the title of the video says, second season syndrome is uh, is coming in. As I've, I've, I've applied for lots of things here, at uh, the youth level, they've accepted that. That's going to be increased, as well as the training facilities and the youth facilities. I did it just before I hit record um they've rejected the training facilities are you joking we've got 70 80 million in the bank you're not giving me it for transfers so come on we need this i'm gonna have to convince them you make a good point they're gonna improve it lovely stuff and hopefully i don't have to explain to malcolm pickup i do that the youth facilities could also do with improving i don't see i don't know why they wouldn't this is one aspect of the game i find 
I find weird because then when they're like, oh, well, actually, yeah, we will do it. Why you reject it in the first place? I don't know. It only stands to help the team and help the club as well, especially when you're sitting on so much money financially, like 81 million pounds, 12 million on the transfers. Like where else is the money going? What are you doing with it? The cost as well, 760K for the training facilities. I mean, why was there even a question? Two million on the youth facilities, but still in terms of the ability of our youth facilities, it's still not great. Like they're okay. Average training facilities, good youth facilities i've got to keep improving these and the youth recruitment has to get better and hopefully it will do we're still searching for a stadium like we don't have any news on that at all we're still renting sellers park on 20 grand or 200 grand a year i should say sorry which is fine for ticket sales and things like that and we can sell more season tickets but for some reason we don't have this new stadium yet we are st we're still borrowing off crystal palace which isn't ideal right thames away at the riverbank for the next game uh we'll rest the boys uh, having played a pretty it was a battle. Let's put, let's put it that way against Villa, and I'll see you for it then in four days' time. Have you noticed I'm not doing as many jump cuts recently? Um, I, th I guess I'm just I'm just becoming a good video maker after after 12 years of doing this. Actually, you know, 2006 I started doing YouTube. Started having a, a channel, not Football Manager. To 2006 to now, that is 15 years. That's half my life doing videos, and I'm finally doing it without cutting and editing loads. Does that make the videos worse? Though I don't know. There's an edit there. Look. And another one, and another one, and another one. See, this is the problem. You do, you can do editing, viewers. Uh, editing. I don't want to say it's entirely the green, but the green has certainly helped here. There is something beautiful about that image. I don't know what it is. There's just something about the blue and the red that I, I like. We should really sort the kits out for for AFC Thames. He says for the fifteenth time this series. It's a good job they're coming then, isn't it? All right then, Thames FC versus AFC Thames. With that injury still, to Magnanovic. We're not going to play him, obviously. Dolls at, le at left wing though. It seems obvious. Like I've, I've barely, I've, once again, it's weird really. I've barely played him this season. And already when he's featuring, he's having an impact again. It seems weird that he is just like the guy for, for whatever reason. Uh, the rest of the side, I'm going to keep exactly the same. I do think this midfield balance is is far better now. The advanced playmaker definitely seems to be better. But we didn't have much control in that game. I say we didn't have control. We didn't create many chances in that game, it's fair to say. But we definitely controlled it. 60% of the ball in this system, we seem to be doing that far better. I'm still not sure, not sure on the forward role of Vermintrap. This complete forward, like I've, I'm a big fan of it. And I've not really used them for a few years. But... I'm going to sort of persevere with it a little bit and see if eventually he really grows into that role. Right then, Thames FC. There's no players there that are uh, former loves of mine, although it's worth saying there is a manager in the Premier League at Southampton that I think you might be familiar with. As we go forward into this, uh, you can see Zenadine Zidane is the manager of Thames FC these days. And if we come to this screen here and I go on Southampton, uh, wherever Southampton are. Southampton aren't in this division. Oh, yes, they are. In eighth position, the manager of Southampton, viewers, is at the big reveal now. Boom, is Ben Her Southampton all have rubbish next viewers. What can I tell you? Right, let's get into it then. As the games begin, there's an early throw in for us on that far side. As you can see, our fans have packed out the away end as that volleyed clearance was spectacular. But let's see then. Can my boys do the business? As uh, there's some nice intricate play. And again, with a complete forward, he will get a little bit more involved in that way. But Thames bring it out now and they're all blue kit. And it's quite composed from them. But a lovely lovely bit of defending from uh, from Russo. As uh, Zerman Trout gets it back. Finds Dolls. Dolls is in again. Surely not. Dominic Dolls. Oh, it's a big chance. There's an argument there to say that he should score it. And the riverbank, it remains nil-nil. Of course, a stadium I created. And a stadium that Thames enjoy throughout their seasons. And so far, we've had the only chances of the game. And again, possession back in our favour. As Bong picks it up. Finds Dolls. Lovely switch of play. Over towards Jakob. He's got to score, surely, viewers. And does. It's Thames. AFC Thames 1. Thames FC 0. And that's what you want to see from the boys. A big goal in the derby game here. It's Thames versus Thames. And the red side of the river are winning. I'll tell you what, it's a lovely worked move as well. Dolls involved again. It's another assist for him. It's a lovely chest down as well by... Brilewski, 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 Brilewski. Is that enough time to spend? You'll still forget it. All right, and a win here. We talked about the last win being important, right? Getting us to 13 points, 16 points. And, you know, rising towards mid-table. That's where we want to be, of course. As it's going to be 
Thames FC now with a little bit of possession and an overload on this right hand side and defensively we have to be switched on in the middle as the ball goes in it's good defending actually Magal gets it clear in the end too as uh, that's going to bring an end to the highlights so far 36% possession very different from the game we've just played against bottom of the table at Aston Villa we have to probably be a little bit more a little bit better on their counter attack and the link up play for Emman Trout there who is playing as a complete forward is absolutely rubbish but the forward ability of him well that's a slightly different matter the pace now he gets past his man to make it two. Oh, he powers it home. The irony of him giving it away and then being in position almost as an isolated figure to score the goal was something quite beautiful. You can see the fans of Thames FC are disappointed. I've got love for them. I can't pretend the fans of that club I'm all for. But it's Urban Trout doing the business. Two Thames FC defenders to get by really and deal with. And then the goalkeeper too. And he scores a wonderful finish. 28 minutes gone. Thames FC nil. AFC Thames two. And a highlight straight after the goal. Well, this that the things have fired up viewers as the header goes all the way through to knee who's on for a second clean sheet viewers which is never happening as dolls it's a wonderful first touch from him keeps the ball alive and then finds the ball forward and dolls makes a lovely attacking run in the slide tackle to Ermintraut it's 3-0 out of nothing it's back-to-back -back goals for Leon Ermintraut who is in the goals it feels like and maybe this central forward role he's playing now the complete forward role that's football manager describes it is coming true for us it's coming good for us as it's 3-0 not even half an hour gone and dolls reads the tackle it looks a bit stupid in the match engine but I couldn't give a stuff it's 3 3-0 away from home and Thames FC here. This again, this is not just big for the result and the points, but the morale of the team and the fans of the club. This is what you're here for, viewers. Goodness gracious me. Maggle to Doles. And maybe, maybe another goal incoming now. I went 3-0 up recently in the game and we binned it off against Arsenal. So hopefully today, lessons can be learned as the ball forward to Doles again, who is a, a constant problem for them. The ball across the middle from Thames is decent. The ball behind even better. And Juan Luis now, probably real name, like, I don't know, Stephen again. That's the ball goes wide. And 37 minutes gone here. Let's waste a little bit of time. Let's get through to half time, And let's just settle this game down a little bit and take our 3-0 victory in to half time and that's what we're going to do a really good performance from the boys hitting them on the counter attack Thames FC having more of the ball but it doesn't matter because the scoreline reads Thames nil AFC Thames three and now we're in a situation where the halftime team talk has gone as well as it can possibly go as I'm also piloting my way through it a little bit but the energy I'm feeling right now from these Thames boys is absolutely sensational and I'm going to keep with it viewers as uh, Juan Jose plays it forward I'm even calling him his fake name as Pizarro's ball into the center is really really poor a little bit too risk of well not not risk averse enough it's, it's fair to say as the shot goes just wide i'm going to go to cautious i'm going to slow things down and i'm going to start to try and control this game a little more if possible because i think that's the way now we can begin to shut it down it's going to be a thames fc free kick though hopefully we're not playing into their hands as the clean sheet has gone as mark milinarak gets the goal or rick gets the goal and thames fc now find a way back into the game and i've got a lot i'm not gonna lie to you viewers it makes me nervous i don't want to see it again uh we're not having a great midfield performance in there from uh from salatiel i'm gonna get him off mcgregor's gonna come on i'm gonna just put him in there i think as sort of just a supportive central midfielder and i'm very conscious of the fact that juan jose is on a booking i'm gonna get him off too. switch those two boys around in fact and hopefully now just see this game out i'm just debating as well dolls maybe to be a support role rather than an attack role just to see if we can settle things. I'm gonna I'm gonna demand a little more because I don't want us to be in a situation they didn't love that. I don't want us to be in a situation where we get a little bit complacent. 20 minutes to go and a goal for Thames FC here and my energy and my love for what's going on could disappear quite quickly as hopefully we can begin to keep the ball. In terms of instructions as well, I'm going to try and work it into the box. Don't play it into space quite as often. I want us to be this possession-based side and it's going, to be, it's going to take a lot of courage, a lot of bravery here to not give the ball away, to stay composed and maybe even craft out a chance of our own to get this game done and dusted. You've got to think a fourth goal would do that as this move, by the way has been really really good the way we're keeping it the way they're trying to chase us down as we're in again Jakob it's a great save from their goalkeeper it might just keep them in this but again we lead the game and we lead it well it's going to be the short corner I'm not expecting much to come from this but you never know viewers as we are trying to be quite quite calm out there and again space has opened up and the shot went in they closed the highlight off very very quickly 
if the time is ticking away I can have, again there is an element of concern for me is the free kick's gonna be put in 15 or so minutes to go to the edge of the box we've got to slide it and defend it and we do it now maybe there's a counter on for us a breakaway perhaps we've got a lot of speed in attack and Dole's on the left hand side has got a bit of craft and we know he loves to score a goal or two the shot goes in another good save from the keeper you've got to feel and so we get to sort of 86 minutes this game is not over just yet and the second season syndrome maybe we're getting rid of it maybe we're going to something better as 86 minutes on the clock and again this is probably the point now if we can stop this attack from happening if we can get ourselves a 2-0 lead again i'm so nervous as doles nips in again what a performance or what a couple of games from dominic doles who goes for it and the save get this man in my goal goodness gracious me as the time ticks away you've got to think now it's done but maybe not as we're gonna we're gonna pass it out from the back again here's hoping it's a nice team move but no thames fc they don't appear to be finished in this game just yet but we are constantly a threat on the break you can see us racing forward but maybe too far and Juan luis is in oh and knee makes the save unbelievably so three minutes to go come on boys hold on now we've been uncautious the entire time let's go defensive let's let's shut this down completely with just the three minutes to go as long as nothing happens from this corner i think knee makes another good save as it goes around for another corner you've got to think even thames fc they had to score from that but it doesn't happen and a huge derby win thames versus thames there was only ever going to be one winner and today it wasn't thames fc you love to see it I can breathe now. I can be calm. That was lovely, though. I enjoyed that a lot. The commentary there was flowing. I was having a great time. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to conclude things there, then. It puts us in 15th position. Two huge wins against Villa and against Thames. And hopefully, that's a sign of things to come now. And hopefully, the run of games we have is a little softer than playing some of the Titans at the top of the table. But I'm looking forward to it. If you are too, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. 100,000 subscriber mark is not that far away. And I've been say, working for 12 years, 15 years has been a established to get it if you've got friends tell them all uh, i would love it okay i'll see you soon goodbye it's coming home stop saying that